Welcome back. So you want to send emails from your Go code using your Gmail. Well, you're going to need an app password for that. An app password is different from our regular Gmail password. So by the end of this, we'll have more than one password that can access our Google account. As you can see, Google really doesn't want you using an app password unless you absolutely need it. Well, in our case, we do need it. All right, we're going to go ahead and create our app password, but there is one thing you need to be aware of first. So we're going to go over to our Google account. We're going to go to the security tab, and then we're under signing into Google. We're going to select app passwords. Now, if you don't have app password passwords under signing into Google, well, it might be because two-step verification is not set up for your account. Two-step verification is only set to security keys. Your account is through work, school, or an organization or you have turned on advanced protection. So if you don't see that app password section, go ahead and check those four things. So let's go ahead and go over to our account. So that is at myaccount.google.com. I'm gonna click on the security tab here, and I'm gonna go down to signing into Google. Like I said, if you don't see the app passwords, go ahead and go back and check those things. And of course, two-step verification should be checked and on. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and we're going to select other, and we're gonna call this Golang app or whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna go ahead and generate that, and it's gonna go ahead and give us our key. Notice that this is gonna be a lot better, a lot more random than say a password generated by a regular human. So uh, just like a normal password, this app, uh, this password grants complete access to your Google account, so please be careful with that. Uh, you won't need to remember this, so please don't write it down or share it. So they're basically saying put it where your application needs to access it and nowhere else because you don't want someone else stumbling across it and getting access to your account. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. And we're going to go down to the Windows symbol. We're going to put EN for environmental variables. Click on that. Now we want to put this in an environmental variable instead of our Go code because we don't want to accidentally push it up to GitHub for everybody to see. We don't want to expose it to everybody who's working on this, just those putting it into production. So we're going to click on environmental variables. Since I'm going to be using this under this user account, I'm going to go ahead and just click new up here instead of down there. And for our name, I'm going to put go underscore SMTP password. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paste our password. In a later lesson, we'll be putting this exact variable name into our Go code to get access to this variable value. And then click OK. And as we can see, it has been added to our user variable. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And we can go ahead and close this. Uh, one thing to be aware of is that whatever terminal we may have been using already, it's not going to be updated with this new environmental variable. So go ahead and close that terminal and open it back up. And if you're using VS Code, the terminal inside of there, go ahead and close VS Code and just open it back up. And then it will that terminal will ha now have access to that environmental variable. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope this saves someone from a little bit of frustration, and I'll see you in the next one.